Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about Law of the Recruitment Code. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As soon as I started to play Final Fantasy XIV, it was right when Stormblood was released, and I was already in an FC with a player that I knew, but I never felt part of that group. Whenever I asked questions in the chat, they would just ignore me, so I just left without any second thought. I almost immediately made my way into another friend's FC that I met randomly while I was walking in Gridania. They were way more receptive and helped me a lot while I was still a sprout. They also helped me with my first tier of Savage, which was released at that time. The people in that FC were very active. They would do a lot of contests together almost every day, and I managed to get into the inner circle of the FC. We would always hang out on the Discord and talk about a lot of stuff. Some months went by, and I even got married with another member of that FC, just because our characters looked cute when they were together. Everything was fine until the day I was hanging out in Gridania, and I saw someone asking for an FC on chat. I invited them, and since they were a sprout, I asked if they had any questions about the game or if they needed help with something. They did ask me some questions here and there, and since I was wanting my titanium mount, I asked them if they had already used anyone's reference code, which they said no, and so I offered mine, explaining the rewards they would get and what I would get from it too. They ended up using my code, and I finally got my titanium mount. Everyone was happy, until later that night when the FC leader, which I'm calling Prince, logged in. Prince quickly noticed that there was a new person in the FC and started a conversation with them. At some point, Prince asked them if they've used anyone's reference code yet, which the Sprout then said they had already used mine. Prince got furious. He instantly PM'd me, telling me that what I was doing was wrong and that they had a full-on entire policy which was never stated to me, in brackets, of how they would handle the reference codes and that everyone should apply for a queue in order to be able to have their reference codes used by the new Sprouts who possibly entered the FC. I was left with no reaction because that sounded so lame and I just ignored what he was saying only to find out on the next day that no one in the FC was talking to me anymore. Our inner circle was ignoring everything that I typed in the FC chat. Even on Discord, they barely talked to me, which caused a weird atmosphere. Oh my god, it got super dark. <laughs> it got super dark and rainy in the game when the drama started to begin. Let me just say really quickly, that's so crazy. Like, this FC had rules. Like, there was a whole queue for what Sprout would use which person's recruitment code. That's wild. I guess maybe there's a lot of people who want the things, so I guess that does kind of make some sense. I'm pretty lucky as a streamer. I have a few of you guys who used my code and I it keeps giving me freaking chocobo feathers after like a few months because you guys are you guys keep playing. And it's like, woohoo! <laughs> Thank you for all those chocobo feathers, guys. As soon as I connected what happened with the code thing and how they were treating me, I asked for a friend of mine who just started to play Final Fantasy XIV to join that FC and pretend like we didn't know each other. So he would be the one to make his way into the inner circle and know what they were saying about me. Ooh, it's about to get spicy. <laughs> we actually managed to achieve this goal. We were all in the voice chat doing Diadem back in 2018 when there were fates inside the instance. And as usual, they would just ignore me and treat me poorly, even though they would still allow me to join them in content. When we were done, I said I had to go, then left the voice chat. No one even replied with a goodbye before I left. My friend, though, was still in the voice, and according to him, as soon as I left the voice channel, Prince started to badmouth me, saying how boring and annoying I was and stuff like that, trying and actually achieving 
to put other members against me. My friend told me everything, and because of it, I decided to tell them I was quitting the FC the next day. They couldn't care less since I got no replies. We also had a group in a mobile message app, which I left too. As soon as I left the group, Prince started to badmouth me again. I asked my friend to stir the pot a little bit and also say bad things about me, which caused Prince to say even worse things. My friend was sending me screenshots of everything and we were just laughing at it. I reached out to Prince on that app, telling him that he should grow up because talking badly behind someone's back just because of a reference code is childish and how he's a coward and not brave enough to say it to my face. I was left on red, of course. But after that, my friend sent me even more screenshots about Prince raging in their group about having a spy in their FC and how this spy was passing info. <laughs> It was crazy and humorous at the time. <laughs> what the fuck? This is Final Fantasy XIV, not EVE Online. There's a spy in the vase. I still sometimes see Prince advertising his FC in the game chat, but after some years, I noticed some of the players that used to be in the FC's inner circle were not part of his FC anymore. I can only assume that things didn't work out with their inner circle. In the end, it was funny, but I was also left with a bittersweet taste in my mouth because that was my actual first FC and I was still newish to the game. I remember having this, what am I going to do now, thought, but everything worked out in the end and I'm still playing actively and stronger than ever. God is bigger than I thought. The end. <laughs> that one was spicy like getting his friend involved to see if they were really talking sh like you know he just had the hunch because he felt the vibe was off after just giving this sprout his recruitment code the fc leader just hated him he had that vibe he's like i'm gonna do a little bit investigating brings his friend in turns out fc was really talking smack about him i don't know why the fc leader would even talk smack about someone in in the fc when there's like a bunch of other people in the fc who could see it and pass that message along like did he not think he was gonna get caught you know it's like weird because it's like in front of a bunch of people maybe he really trusted this inner circle and as soon as he found out there was a spy in there slowly this inner circle was just like crumbling because he didn't trust anyone anymore <laughs> this is so funny man was really throwing shade over a reference code true i know like that's the craziest thing of it all like all this for a reference code i was like i'm putting this on stream this is funny <laughs> fc leaders come in two forms those that barely care and those who are dictators <laughs> it's like this or that there's a little bit of the middle ground where they do care and they're not dictators those are the best ones the ones right in the middle this was the guy's reaction finding a spy. Let me see. And then the FC explodes. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg patra. And if you would like to support the content by tipping, feel free to join and become a YouTube member with some perks.